everyone and welcome back to the channel i have yet another in my huge thrifting haul and i also wanted to incorporate some of the spring pieces that i found but i found some really nice items really nice neutral items that i wanted to pair with my home decor i'm not doing any of the colors this year so i set all of my colored pieces back in the garage and i pulled out all of my more neutral pieces solely because when you take down all that color for uh, Valentine's and Christmas, you kind of get overwhelmed with it and you kind of want to go back to like a neutral setting. But the first part of this is a thrifting haul. I don't know if you guys like this or not. Would you prefer me doing a haul after every thrifting trip or just jumble it all up in a thrifting haul? I just like to do it this way because it's easier to film in my opinion. I'm gonna stop talking and jump right into it. <laughs> found these little brass candle holders $1.99 so you guys know I'm collecting or if you don't know I'm collecting these for my wedding decor and I just thought that these were perfect only for two dollars I don't know why I'm on this clear glass binge but I found this it was only $3.99 so I thought it was a little pricey for just a simple glass piece. Usually something like this is only like $1.99, but I love the detailing in it. So I think that's why I kind of said, you know, mm, I don't really care that it's $4, but I got this for $4. I've been looking for a lot of smaller pieces to incorporate into my um, decor. And I came across this little bird. So I saw this and I have no idea where it's from. I'm thinking it's from like maybe Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. It would just be perfect for the dark decor in the house. And also this was $2.99. Next thing I got was this wooden candlestick. Of course, I'm going to either paint this white or black. I may leave it this tone here because it is dark and a little bit pricey for my taste. This was $4.99 couldn't pass it up Also, I needed an all black frame for the black hutch um, so I grabbed this one this was 99 cents um, I don't know if I want to do fabric in here or if I wanted to actually put a black and white picture but um, for 99 cents I couldn't pass this up the next two items are more for the wedding I found these brassy I don't know if I don't know if they're a set they don't look like they're a set but when they were together I thought they were a set this one was $2.99 and this one was also $2.99 more wedding decor for cheap love these also I thought this would be perfect for spring this was $3.99 and this is actually studio decor is that home no is that Michael's I don't know Definitely Michaels now that I'm looking at that tag. This is from Michaels and I just thought the neutral birds on it would be perfect for spring Add a little bit of greenery in there and call it a day $3.99. So I I Retract that this is the one that I saw uh, All by its lonesome and these were an actual set So I did find a set the only thing is the bottom of this one is a little bit darker But that doesn't bother me Again, both of these were $2.99 and there was a set of these. So these are beautiful. Look at the detailing in them. There you go. Now this, I had no idea. Well, I did. I had an idea and I said, all right, we're gonna go with this. So you, I saw this similar like candle stand, but it was attached to like a huge shamrock. I saw this one and I said, okay, at least it's not a shamrock. <laughs> but it's something that I can work with. So we got all levels of the candle stands and these look like tea light holders. So I can't put actual candles in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I know that I do want to paint it black. That's as far as I've gotten with this. I do. What I'm gonna do with it, I have no idea, but I could not pass this up. And for $2.99, definitely, I was going home with this. Oh, I just got another wooden spoon. I do still have a few Ray Dunn pieces. I have a lot actually that I haven't gotten rid of, but I do plan on filling one of my Ray Dunn Crocs with a bunch of either rolling pins, uh, wooden spoons. So I'm starting at the thrift store and seeing if I can find 
a bunch of wooden pieces for cheap and I've been finding quite a few for like a dollar or dollar 99 so I found this one I have yet another candlestick I did not know I had this one this was $2.99 as well. I, I didn't, I just looked in my box and I was like, wow, that's another candlestick. So I have to really start piecing all of my candlesticks together so I'm not buying too many. But yet another one. I saw a bunch of Ikea pieces at the thrift store. There was also uh, one of the longer uh, bins or baskets, the white ones. I actually have one of those that I use, but I found one of these and I'm just going to use this for like a pot. Um, like a plant pot. This was $1.99. I don't even know how much they cost at the actual store. I think they're like between five and $10.99 for these. For $2, I couldn't pass it up. You guys know that I did a DIY aged vessel. So I saw this cute vessel in the thrift store and I said, you know what? I don't have any smaller pieces, like smaller vases. So uh, I definitely wanted to grab this. This was $1.99. It looks perfect the way it is if this is your decor style. I think that that is just gorgeous. Those colors are so rich. But for me, it's a little too bright. And as you can see, it goes with absolutely nothing in my home. So I'm going to age this one as well. I also found, I don't even know if this is something that's super expensive, a whiskey keg. And when I saw it, I saw it on the shelf like this. And I was like, oh, that blue writing, um, it's, it's not bothering me. And then I turned around and I was like, oh, but that's bothering me. So, um, I did not want to do anything to this finish. Like I love the color. I love the gloss on it. Um, I just hate the blue. So I think I'm just going to display it in the home like this, put some greenery in it. Hey, okay, this was $6.99 from Goodwill. Before I get to my last two pieces that I am, oh my God, they were thrifting super fines. I found this black and white little hand handmade pottery and you guys just know i am a sucker for a good striped piece this was a dollar 99 all right so the very first unicorn piece that i found is this little iron skillet or um, pot iron pot somebody used it for candles and i did not i'm putting two and two together that's a genius idea there's a huge spider in here can you see that Oh my God, it's dead. All right, I knocked the candles. <laughs> I knocked the candle wax out along with the spider, but these were a bit pricey for the Goodwill, but I can see why. They are extremely heavy and these are really, really popular. So this one was $6.99. Also found, I saw this and I said Halloween decor, absolutely but also I can incorporate it into my regular decor because it matches the color. This one was $7.99 and again, someone was using it as a candle. How stinking gorgeous are these? They were definitely on my thrifting unicorn list and I'm so glad I found them. Oh, I almost screamed in store when I found these. Also on this day when I found this, the shelves were filled to the max. You guys will see that in uh, a thrift with me. I have never seen that particular Goodwill that full. Like even the lady walked up next to me and was like, you can't even go through everything. There's so much stuff. And I was like, I've never seen it like that. She was like, me neither, but I'm in heaven. We were, we were in thrifting heaven that day because there was so much stuff. The last two pieces, but when I saw these, I actually saw one of them all by its lonesome. And I said, wow, that's a, really cool idea for you know those pieces because they look older guys let me take the tape off look at this so they're actual spoons I, I remember seeing these in people's homes and I thought oh they were cute but I want to say someone yes someone repainted this because the color that's coming through underneath is red and they just added this greenery to it. This is something I would see in Hobby Lobby for well over $50. I got them for $6.99 for both. Could not believe it. I ran out of that store 
so happy. That's a great thrifting day. <laughs> I also wanted to share some of the Easter pieces that I found from uh, Target. I have a few Hobby Lobby items. I did also find something that looks like a thrifting piece, but it was from Michaels. And it's weird how all of these places are gravitating towards that style. Now, am, am I going crazy? Cause I know I'm not, I know I'm not going crazy. All right, the very first item that I found was this cute little carrot pillow from the Target dollar spot, only $5. I thought it would be perfect just in the center of the couch. I found also at the Target dollar spot, um, these cute little dish towels here, they kind of match. I'm pretty sure it's the same design, yeah. It's the same design, um, just something really simple you can add to the kitchen. I don't know if the kitchen will be together by the time I start my Easter decor. I don't, if I don't use these this year, I can definitely use them next year. And these were $5 as well. And it also has just the same colors and plaid on the, on the back. Now I got this set of decorative neutrals for a DIY project. I love these. I don't know. These could be used for spring and fall. Look how gorgeous they are. I have to get the rest of the materials to even start on it. But um, this was $12.99 at 40% off. And I loved how simple these were. I just got some cute little um, carrot reefs from the Target Dollar Spot, $5. I didn't even see these. Like usually I see someone post on Instagram the new spring items or Easter items that they have out. I literally walked in one day into Target and saw these and I was like, oh, I'll grab them so so I am loving the line this year I am gonna incorporate this into my uh, Easter hutch this was $5.99 and it's just a serving plate but I'm gonna use it as a decor not so much as a serving plate it's something you would find in Hobby Lobby grab just a wooden this is actually a charcuterie board so uh, I don't I'm not gonna use it for a charcuterie. It just looks too small for a charcuterie board, in my opinion, but $5 from the Target dollar spot. And when I say I was obsessed, obsessed with the cute little bunnies that they have. So I had to grab a handful of these, $5. This was $5, this is three. So I got a standing bunny and also a sitting bunny. <laughs> Both $5, so cute. I don't know why I got these, but I just got some wooden eggs. Uh, I'll probably put these in my Ray Dunn little egg holders, uh, $3. And I always love their little the bags of carrots. I think I got some of these last year. I always try to pick them up every year, $3 for these. And I always love every year they come out with new little tier tray decor. So I got this carrot farm, uh, bag of carrots and farm fresh. So cute. I wanna try to do more tiered trays in the new kitchen. So um, that's why I pick up a lot of small pieces for solely for that. I thought these bunnies were really cute. They were only, no, these were $5. So I got just a few of those. All right, the last two pieces that I got were Everybody, you know, has this for hop from Hobby Lobby. I just thought this was really cute. Love the distressed look on it, along with the black and white pieces. You guys know this will match perfect in my decor. Got this at 40% off. It was originally $25.99. And my last piece, I just got this today. I just got this literally like an hour ago. I did not know Michaels had a line like this. This is so gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my God. So this is from the Ashland Spring Collection. It was originally $19.99, but I got it 40% off of that. So I think it was like $11, $12. This doesn't even look like something from Michaels. This looks like something from the thrift store. So I thought this would just be perfect anywhere, honestly. I can put this in the hutch. I can put this on the table anywhere is this not something you see thrifting wow cannot believe that <laughs>
that was everything but I'm so excited with all of the pieces that I have I cannot wait to incorporate them into my decor you guys I am loving thrifting you can find so many unique pieces that everybody won't have in their homes of course we all like to decorate and we all like to decorate differently but I think thrifting is the best option if you want to one save money and find unique pieces so I thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye